Alright, here we go. Mmm. I think I messed up that first clip. Um, so, here we, here we go. In the frozen wastelands here, we got the little Viking faction here against my elemental ice faction. So, uh, as you can see, uh, you got Axemen on the flanks with a mace line in the center. Some swordsmen as their specialty units. I'm talking about the Vikings right now. You can see their melee commanders. You got a Valkyrie, a Zerker, a, a man who managed to find a frosty boy sword, and the Jarl, the local leader. And then for range units, they got ice archers, some throwing spears, throwing axes, at the Uru, I, I still don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. A guy you can throw some lightning over here, spice things up a bit. Spice things up, spice things up a lot. Uh, an Ice Mage, and Thor, God of Thunder. And then for the Elemental Ice Faction, they're pretty standard. They got basic swords, spears, and knives, your basic units. For commanders, we got an Ice... We got an axe guy, that's nothing special. An ice sword. So this sword, which is the same between these two guys, it doesn't actually do damage. It freezes them. So that's their thing. The fishermen, dragging people in, slapping them with a fish. They got the executioner here with his mighty scythe and his crow wings, ready to cut people down. Ice archers again. Crossbows this time. Crossbows and muskets this time. The guy with the ice axe, uh, an ice mage, a regular spear throwy boy, and the uh, and the ice lord with his wings and his little horns sprouting out his head. Formidable force, formidable force. Uh, best three out of five. As you can see, the costs are pretty similar, but that don't really mean nothing. All about the units, because the costs don't affect, don't account some things like. Damage modifiers, um, speed, attack speed. When making units, the cost, it doesn't affect that. That doesn't affect the cost. So. Alright, let's go. Going in slow mo right here, you can see the Valkyrie diving in. The first musket rounds coming in, kind of going through their back line. The Valkyrie already almost dead. A lightning strike from Thor. As he trips as he try as he tries to make it to the front line. The Ice Lord also kinda having the same problem trying to get through his range units. Uh, I, I also found out that the ice arrows don't actually do any damage So what I've done is that I increased their fire rate so that they actually have a chance of freezing people. Which is how those things get so, we got the lines clashing in here, a swordsman for the Vikings stabbing into the icy lines. I think that guy just got poked by that sword. So, we, we won't know that we may never know. Giant axe is getting flung into the fray. This poor guy has a. Uh, is that on a shield? Oh, I think that's on this Viking shield right here. Some men nearly frozen. Not yet, though. Not yet. They're not frozen yet. They're almost frozen, though. Thor finally making it to the front lines. The Ice Lord still on his way. Uh, let's see. The second in command. Let's see. We have the Executioner right there. Is that the Jarl? There's one. There was like one red guy in there. Or like that. I don't know what happened to the Jarl. Oh, wait. Is he A whole bunch of ice arenas being created separately. Uh oh, the executioner and the Yarrow about to go head to head here. In a couple of moments, once they get through the riffraff. <laughs> um, the berserker going in with a couple of men, going up against the executioner with a couple of men of his own. The executioner has some men on his side. Oh snap! Oh, the executioner is his giant side. 
doing a lot of damage. You can actually see the golden armlets he has on the inside of his plate, plate armor. That's cool. Thor coming in. Ooh, he goes in for a giant swing. Boom! Takes out four men with one swing of his, with one swing of Mjolnir. Ugh. Men going down. The Berserker tapping in on his inner rage. So is the Yarrow. The Executioner sweeping men aside. I believe the Lord is also in here as well. Yeah, he even swept his Lord aside, which is not a good thing to do, man. Thor looks like he's starting to beeline it to the range line to the ice faction. Boom, more musket shots raining out. This poor regular man getting shot. Going to Valhalla now. Rest in peace. Alright, let's see. Going back to where it's interesting with all the commanders and units and stuff. Uh, looks like someone's dead. I don't see the Jarl anymore. I don't see his head. Oh, he's out here. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. The Berserker is in the thick of it, going up against the Ice Lord and his Executioner. He's taking it like a champ. He's gonna distract Thor. Looks like the Fisherman taking a brave stat. Uh, this guy, the guy with the Ice Sword, he's he's marching along with his god, with his deity of choice. He's about to swing that, swing that sword. Oh, I think he might have hit him. I don't know, didn't seem to get that much more frozen than usual. Looks like the Berserker's rage has worn off. The Ice Lord actually faring a lot worse than the Executioner here. He just gets hit in the back of the head with an arrow from the Vikings. The Yarrow creating an, another ice ring, multiple ice rings being created. The Berserker being slain, I don't know exactly what killed him. Ice arrows flipping out. You know, the Vikings kind of having the same advantage as the Romans and the Greeks, where their men have shields. Their basic range units have shields. But, you know, their heads are exposed, so. Alright. The executioner getting hit in the back. Seems to be getting hit in the back by, by axes, the throwing axes. Meanwhile, ooh, that's a good lightning strike coursing through their ranks a bit there, dealing minor damage to multiple units, so it kind of works up a bit. Uh-oh, looks like the Lord and the Executioner finished off the Jarl here, and they're moving forward to the Vikings' lines, but they got a lot of men to go through. Meanwhile, Thor is about to wreck house in the back. Oh yeah, let's go to normal sleepers. Oh no, never mind! Thor! Slain, defeated, frozen in a block of ice. And... Oh snap, what happened to that? What happened to the execution? He's gone, I don't see him anymore. So it's just the Ice Lord struggling to make his way to the lines. I don't think he'll make it. He falls over, he falls to the ground. The weight of all the axes and spears. It's just too much for him. He collapses on the floor. The Vikings have no mercy. And... Kill him. Yep. There he goes. The Lord of Ice. Slain. So now it's just up to the basic range units for each side. This poor dude getting frozen. So the advantage for the Ice Faction is that they have muskets which can go through shields. They have bullet penetration. So, um, they go through shields. The advantages for the Vikings are the fact that they have those shields in the first place. And those spears, they're more accurate than the crossbows. But, you know, that, that shield won't help you against the bullet, my guy. Um, let's see. I would also compare their shields more to the Greeks, where it does leave a good chunk of their body exposed. More importantly, it leaves their head exposed. Another man getting shot by a musket. Oh, man. 
or spears being thrown. Of course, the ice archers on each side are basically the same. Actually, they're exactly the same, actually. Ooh, this guy going down to the spear. Let's see. Oh, another advantage for the Vikings is the guy that throws lightning. Oh, multiple men going down. Looks like we got a collateral from a musket. And a third guy going down to a crossbow bolt in the face. I wonder if the guy that throws lightning bolts is still alive. He's a very good guy. He's very good. Here's one of the range commanders. Uh, we don't know which one he is. So, looks like the other one's dead. So, whichever one he is. Oh, yeah. And he's the... The guy who I don't know how to pronounce. Ice mage in the back of each side. Once again, the ice mages are both carbon copies of each other. So. Looks like the ice faction might pull through if the, if the bolt man is dead. You know, the lightning bolt summoner, he might be dead. Uh, by the way, the regular axes, they're like very. They have this weird property, right? So, they're like the crossbows, they're best at mid range. But instead of the crossbows where they go over your head and will sometimes hit your face for critical damage, these guys land slightly short and there's a small chance that they'll hit your feet. So that's not good. Ironic, some of the men in the ice faction getting frozen to death. That man getting completely frozen to death. More musket shots ringing out and as you can see there are Less dudes with shields now, and it's now basically all archers. And this one commander in the back here. Uh, they got one guy. I don't know if he throws spears or axes. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see. Come down to the wire. Come down to the wire. Oh snap. Ooh, it's another man about to get frozen. Ah, oh, more men getting frozen for the ice faction. Are those muskets ringing out? They never killed any of the musket men. I think all six of them are alive. Yes, all six musket men are alive. They didn't kill any of them. So unfortunately, just the superior firepower of muskets will win the day for the elemental ice faction as this guy takes a bullet, presumably to the shoulder, and dies from it. Big sad. You know, for a second there, I thought the Vikings had that, but Ice put a little bit of a comeback there. So they take the first round and they go up one to nothing. Let's see if let's see if uh, the Vikings can even the scoreboard. Once again, slowing down the battlefield here. The first volley of musket shots go through their own men and into some of the enemies. The execution of Raven his ice breath had a lot of men's before. Freezing cold breath. Uh, let's see. Battle commences, I have. I mean, I guess I'll just look at the center here. Actually, it looks like the center for the ice unit is gone. They're all dead, so... Like, the, the Jarl here for the Viking faction and some of the men around him just got free reign over here. Over the center of the battlefield, the executioner skewed a little bit to his left. To his left, the Vikings right. So let's see. Talking about it from the perspective of the Vikings, the left flank is up for grabs. The right flank looks like it was definitely in the hands of the ice faction. And the middle, the middle for the ice faction was completely gone. So the Vikings just kind of had that. So let's go over where it's interesting on this, on the Vikings left flank, again, that's where all, that's where all the remaining fighting happened last round as well, although now it looks like the Vikings are starting to lose the melee battle overall, for score, if you make it to the line. Oh boy, we got Big Head over here, we got Big Head Mace Man, Big Head Mace Man. Uh, these maces are kind of terrible weapons. Very short range. I don't, I don't know their damage. So they might not even do that much damage. Kind of bad. Alright, there we go. Let's 
this over the door. More axes getting thrown in. Ooh. Ah, looks like that one might have been some friendly fire from the Vikings right there. The ice faction, the few remaining men are sprawled out on the floor, getting slaughtered as they lie there. In the cold waste. Which, you know, you, you think they'd benefit from that. <laughs> They're literally ice elementals. Multiple fight is going down, some to friendly fire. As axes just kind of hit them in their backs. You got the berserker right here. Oh, come on! Right before we get enraged, he was struck in the knee by a friendly axe and killed. Suck. They're kind of hurting themselves right now. Some remaining axemen, this guy having a very close call. That bolt nearing the top of his shield right there. He has his axe between his legs, though, so I don't know how effective he'll be in melee like combat. Oh, looks like this Viking got frozen to death. He's still holding his weapons. Sad. Thor just annihilating that guy and then losing a whole bunch of his health. It's like one shot. Who was that? That must have been the commander. His job was obviously to win. Uh, if you got the Jarl and the Ice Sword guy here, the Ice Sword guy, I don't know, he really seems to like to crowd around his, uh, more powerful commanders. <laughs> kind of a wuss, man. Go off, go do your own thing. Him and the Jarl taking on the Ice Lord. Along with some help from their lines. The ice sword guy gets struck in the back by a friendly lightning bolt. Let's see, where's Thor? I believe that's Thor on the ground. Yeah, only Thor has the fur on his back and the shield. He's the only melee unit with the fur on his back. The Jarl here, he's in range. He's going in. He's going in. He's going in for the swart, for the strike. Oh, he struck him. Oh, that's some good damage. Some good damage. Got help from his boys and the range units and the ice sword guy right with him. And the ice lord just getting pegged by range units and pegged by spears. And he goes down very fast. Yeah, looks like the Vikings got this one. Thor is still alive. He's kind of covered by some corpses right here. Uh, that poor, uh, oh, hey, that's the big head Viking. Uh, sad he died. Thor trying to get up, his hammer, he's now enraged, and as him and the remaining commanders, there's really only commanders in this, I don't think there, I don't think there are really any regular units, but as I say that, you got one mace man here. Yeah, outside of that, it's just a range unit battle, the vikings surging forward as they need to get closer because they have less range, going at normal speed here, you see Thor doing his lightning strike ability. You can see him on the edge there, he goes in, he completely knocks out a guy. The bolt man getting a good lightning arc. So the lightning is very good because not only does it do damage to multiple units, it also flings them to the side which really disrupts their firing speed. Um, so looking at it from the perspective of the ice elementals, their left is going not so well. and. Well, I was about to say the right is going good for them, but with that lightning bolt killing four people at once, I believe that will turn the tide. So yeah, the Vikings got some good units that can easily turn the tide of a fight. Oh, yeah, it's, the, the muskets won't be enough for them this time. So as the left, a couple of guys go down. Oh! Yeah, I think these guys died around at around the same time. Just some spears. The Vikings even it out one to one. So you know, if the, if there are commanders and if, if the Viking commanders can live long enough, they can turn the tide. But those muskets for the ice elementals are really devastating. Once again, the muskets going through their own men and hitting some of the melee units for the Vikings and the ice, ice elementals. Thor doing a lightning strike. Uh, the melee units clashing together. Uh, I feel like we got a lot less commentary for this one. 
That much is it. Alright, let's see. We got some swordsmen and macemen clashing in the middle. Whoa, it's more like to the edge. Edge right here. Got huge ice, these little ice vortexes. They freeze enemy units. You know, they start to freeze you. And as you get more and more frozen, you move slower. So, that's obviously a downside. Uh, looks like a minor viking slaughter. All the Vikings over here seem to have lower health than the Ice Elementals. The Jarl going up against this poor dude. This one guy. Will he live? Oh snap. He actually gets knocked back by something. The Ice Executioner creating his own little icy ring here. Trapping, trapping the Berserker and several other Vikings in with him. And he's... Looks like he's about to swing, and he swings his mighty scythe, dealing severe damage to some units, to any unit who gets hit by it. Like, big, big damage. Alright, you got a viking swordsman on the edge here, on the very end of the battle, I'm trying to get back into the fray. Men going down for both sides. Ooh, that's another Thor lightning strike taking out. Um, oh, that was a that was a commander for the ice. One of their commanders. That was a fisherman. I mean, he's the worst one, but he's still a commander. He can still do some damage. And if he lives long enough, he'll actually start dragging away the ranged units, which is basically an insta kill. He's dragging that one. Hard to say who's winning. Oh, it looks like some guy's getting almost frozen. That guy dies before he can get completely frozen. But yeah, some of the Vikings, some of the Vikings are getting completely frozen. You can tell who was frozen because again, they still have their weapons in their hands. So that guy was frozen. A swordsman was frozen. Multiple of their melee units were frozen. Sad, sad, sad. We got a knife. I like assassin unit for the ice elementals all the way down here. This poor swordsman, I believe he was a swordsman, right? Yeah, he was a swordsman. He got shot while he was on the ground. A little bit unfair. The knife guy manages to pick himself back up. And now he has to face an onslaught of these range units. I don't think he'll make it. Wow. I don't know. I don't know how that missed, but it did. Uh, he gets hit by multiple spears to his chest and abdomen. He goes down, pours in the thick of it, trying to, trying to bring back, uh, you know, trying to make a little bit of a comeback. Trying to make a little bit of a comeback here. Um, it seems like the ice units are winning right now, but as uh, the Vikings, the Viking units who have the enraged ability become enraged, this is their chance to turn the tide, which is why the enraged ability exists in the first place. So the Jarl has it, and the Jarl actually takes out the Executioner right there. The Jarl has it, the Berserker has it, but it looks like he's dead already, I don't see him. And Thor has it. Thor is actually making a bit of a beeline to the back lines of the ice units right now. Uh, will he make it in time? He will, and he takes out the mage in one swing. Mm -mm -mm. The Ice Lord, though, he is also more so towards the back lines. But the Jarl does stand in his way. If he can readjust his... Oh my god, if he can readjust his arms and hold his axe the correct way, he might be able to stand a chance. Looks like Thor's enrage ability has gone away. And he is now left to the mercy of all these Ice Archers. Muskets, crossbows, and one javelin. I believe what's going to happen to him is that eventually he'll get shot. But it looks like he'll get another mighty swing of Mjolnir. Ooh, he didn't do anything that time. And Thor gets hit with an axe. The Jarl and the uh, Ice Lord going at it one for one. The, the Jarl does have support of his boys. Although he does get shot. Although that bullet did go through the Ice Lord. But, you know, it did relatively minor damage. He's swinging around. 
swinging their axes all willy-nilly and stuff. Uh-oh, the Ice Lord creates a ring the Jarl cannot escape. Thor goes down. And with that problem solved, and the Jarl going into one last battle frenzy as he attempts to even the tide against the Ice Lord. He attempts to hit him with the back end of his axe. That doesn't work. He starts swinging all willy-nilly. Uh-oh, looks like he's about to create his own ice ring so that the Ice Lord can't escape. Oh, uh, snap. The Ice Lord is about half health. The Jarl is one tap from anything that does actual damage. Although the Ice Lord is getting pelted by range fire. Whereas the Jarl seemingly is not. Yeah, no. The Ice Elementals are just not helping the Lord out in the slightest. And they're instead focused on the actual other units. Which they are handling quite well. Three, three, um, three guys. I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what weapons I'm using. I didn't see. Three guys go down to two musket shots, and the Yarrow comes out on top above the Ice Lord due to his help he got from his range units. But I don't, the Yarrow probably won't be able to make it. So let's go into normal speed. See how, yeah, the Yarrow's dead. And so now we got some Axemen. The Boltman's alive, so that's very powerful. That's a priority target because of that. Because of that, that's why. So they got they probably gotta kill him as fast as possible. The Boltman's alive, several other shield several other other men with shields are alive, and of course you got a huge plethora of archers in the back. Oh yeah, just hit a corpse. Desecrating bodies is a threat. <laughs> Another lightning bolt goes out, coursing through the lines of the ice on the mantles. Well, it's more like coursing through their left flank. More musket shots rain out, more men get instantly dropped. Another lightning bolt coming out. Boom, more damage to all these guys. A couple more lightning bolts, and they'll all be dead in one go. That'll be very powerful. More musket shots raining out, though. The longer these muskets are alive, and the more shots they get out, the better the elementals have. Although, it looks like the vikings might take this one away because of their slower fire rate. And I believe... Uh, the bolt man seems to be dead now. Oh no, he's actually still alive and he's still throwing bolts that are arcing through the whole lines and doing damage to everyone. Uh, it's kind of coming down to it. A little bit. It's coming down to it a little bit. It looks like the uh, vikings will be able to pull through. Yeah. Oof. Not as dominant as a victory as last time, but it's still a victory though. And the Vikings are about to pull ahead at two to one as this guy actually gets frozen to death. Poor dude, what a weird position to get frozen in. Sad. So was the first round just a fluke? Or will they make or will the ice elementals make this thing interesting? We shall see. Once again, going in slow mo, the Valkyrie going way out. Gets shot instantly, loses half her health. More muskets raining out. That one seemed. That. That. Spray of musket, that volley, seemed to do a lot less friendly fire than some of the other rounds. So that's good for the Ice Elementals. It's always good. Always good. But you know, there's always a chance that they'll get some collaterals on some of the guys in the back. Thor, once again, who trips. Lion face down on the floor. Lightning coursing through the lines of the ice elementals. Oh, will it hit someone? And of course, through the range lines as well. Lucky, lucky, lucky for the ice elementals right there. Uh, looking at the top down view, looks like the Vikings are winning it for the most part, I'd say. Or, well, I'm just noticing a lot more red health bars and blue. But red, the red health bars do stand out. Like, I, I didn't know there were three guys because of all these blue particle effects in the blue background. Because it's an ice map. So, that might just be it. There might not actually be a Viking thing. Viking victory. Um, let's see. What else stuff to say? This guy, oh, the fisherman, we got the fisherman right here. There's a guy stuck in his grass, and he actually just gets blown away. <laughs> got blown away by something right there, I don't know what. We got 
two huge groups of fighting going on. One over here where the executioner is over here, so... He takes one huge swing of his scythe, kills the man who hits him directly, does some damage to the others, which gets some of them killed. So, that's a lot of damage. Thor is on this side, though, for the Vikings. So it seems like the Ice Elementals are going to win this side, because the Executioner and the Lord went down, and the Ice Elementals went down that way. Whereas Thor went down this way. Where did Yar? Where did the Yar go? I we got Thor and the Berserker over here. The Yarl is in the middle right now. He's kind of sitting around right the middle. The Executioner looking worse for wear right now, which is a shame because this scythe is very powerful. As you can see, one shotting that regular unit and doing severe damage to the other one. He probably got killed by something else while he was in the middle of getting knocked back. Ooh, that muscle ball range strikes strikes another Viking and another Viking goes down to the ice faction superior firepower. It looks like they're about to fire off another volley. Bang. Let's see, let's see where these shots go. That's a kill right there. That's another man down. More musket shots ringing out. Ooh, Thor got shot. I don't know where the third one landed. The third one might have missed. The Jarl is very close to the back lines, although that means he'll just get targeted. But since he's above half health, I'm assuming he'll probably get enraged and have some longevity. Looks like, looks like although he'll probably end up fighting the Ice Lord again in a 1v1, except this time the Ice Lord has the support from his range units. The Jarl does not. He takes one hit to the head and does a lot of damage to him. Is that Thor? That is Thor. Thor going up against this common ice soldier who's, who's actually taking a swing at him. Well, Thor actually misses, and the, so, does the, so does the ice soldier. But Thor calls on a bolt of lightning and just smites him, and his corpse goes flying. And the fisherman getting shot in the side, getting slowly frozen here. The Jarl 1v1ing the ice lord as usual. Seems like those two just keep running into each other. The Ice Executioner's dead, so the only other commander, the only other melee commander, is the Fisherman right here, who's pretty weak. Once again, the weakest one. He's more like utility. As you can see, a lot of these guys are half health, probably from lightning bolts. Gonna go in normal speed road. Ice Lord goes down. Thor was half health. He's about to hit the lines of the Ice Elementals. And it's not gonna be enough. Thor goes into enraged mode and starts wrecking house. So does the Bolt Man and the other guys. So it seems like the commanders for the Vikings extremely powerful and just managing to just do better and uh, have more of an effect on the battle. And so as we end this one off here, we're actually gonna do a little thing and we're actually gonna remove the commanders for both factions, and we're just gonna see what happens with the regular guys. Ah, yeah, so let's... This one doesn't count. Vikings win, 3-1. to one. We'll just see this as a little bit of an exhibition right here. Alright, uh, the Vikings pushing them backwards, pushing the ice guys, the ice of the ones backwards. Um, although, even though they're pushing them backwards, that doesn't necessarily mean they're Fight. The fight seems very even, and it's probably going to come down to what these range units end up doing and contributing. Although the Vikings do seem to end up coming out on top here with a win. Oh, actually, I take it back. The ice guys, uh, it's 2 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 1, and. At that point, we can just call it a draw. I think the Vikings officially won because that one guy up front is a melee unit. But I mean, yeah. Now that there's nothing to distract them, those musket men are just tearing these guys a new one. Shame. You can just. Although. Although, the crossbow men are all dead as well. But the musket men are. They need to kill the muskets. That's their problem. So yeah, now it's just Ice Archer v Ice Archer plus crossbow and musket fire. The Vikings lose this one handily. 
I mean, by, a, by an average margin, you know, normally the faction that wins has a majority of their rage units, which they do. Uh, they lost seemingly all of their crossbows over here. Four of their crossbows, and uh, one poor dude who got killed over here. So yeah, man, those Viking commanders really making a difference. Looks like they just weren't able to pull through in the first round. But after that, they pulled it together and managed to take their faction all the way to Victory Town. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll probably do another one of these two factions again the next time I make a video. And that's the whole thing. See you guys later.